Hi everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansera. Today's presentation is about an important subject, trends and issues in education, which is a part of the curriculum of BS education and MPhil education programs in many universities across Pakistan. Prospective teachers and budding educationists need to know about trends and issues at various levels of education of the education system in Pakistan and elsewhere. The main aim of this course is to make prospective teachers recognize the connection between classroom teaching and life in general. And so, um, let's now move to the two main concepts, um, the trends and issues. So first of all, let us talk about trends. What is a trend? A trend indicates the direction in which something is moving. It indicates whether something is increasing or decreasing. A trend could also be defined as something that is in practice in the contemporary world, something that is in fashion, something that is gaining momentum or is increasingly being adopted by individuals or groups in the society. In other words, a trend reflects the increasing popularity and adoption of something on a mass level. As as is always the case, some example will clarify the concept further. The, increasingly, the increasing use of technology in the classroom in educational institutions across the world is a trend, is an example of a trend. The increasing focus on student-centered approaches in the teaching learning process is another example of a trend. Um, similarly, the changing role of the teacher as facilitator or learning rather than as mere disseminators of knowledge and information. The new focus on collaborative rather than individualistic learning models are examples of trends. Now let's move to the other concept, issues. What is an issue? An issue means a problem something that is under dispute, something that, that has an argument around it. An issue could also be thought of as something that is impacting something else negatively. In the field of education, an issue could be something that is impacting the quality of the process or product of education. Some examples of issues faced in the field of education in the Pakistani context may include the following. The quality of education is an issue. Perceived lack of professionalism of education stakeholders. Similarly, one of the biggest issues is the practice of rote learning for passing exams. Cheating in exams is an issue. Lack of funding for education is an example of an issue. Lack of skills and commitment among educational leaders. Lack of availability of educational opportunities. Flaws in the examination or evaluation system. So the list can go on and you can add to the list on further reflection and analysis of the situation. The two concepts, however, may not be entirely exclusive. One may think of certain issues as trends and vice versa. Also, some trends may lead to issues and some issues may appear in the form of trends. In that sense, trends and issues may be considered as offshoots of the same root and hence more inclusive in educational context. I hope this brief presentation may have clarified to some extent 
the two main concepts of trends and issues in education. If you have any questions, you may give those or if you have any comments, you may give in the comment section below this presentation. Thank you very much for your